Well, welcome to uh, Dairy House Farm in Beer Aller in Somerset. There's a clue, it's a farmyard, old tractors are here. This is the Late Break Show um, on tour in Somerset, my, my homeland. We've had two smaller gatherings, a bit more intimate, basically a Christmassy lunch show and shine event. And we've got some loser called Jason Plato, who's actually over there with a flat cap on. You can see his car there, he's parked in the corner. You might just notice his number plate and his totally dirty pan turbo. But I'm really excited because we, we've had one over Saturday, one over Sunday. Complete mix of cars. So come and have a look and see what, what vehicles we've got. You might remember my, the car cave that we did with Paul Harding. That's the Corvette engined E36 M3, stormer of a car. Fiat Cinquecento Sporting, love it. A very, now is that yellow gold? I think that's yellow gold. Forester, XT, they're great aren't they? When I used to live in Somerset they were everywhere. Proper farmer's wife car, but in a good way. MGA with the chrome murdered out next to the CVR. That's a hell of a car to drive in December. That's commitment and I love it. Lovely AC Schnitzer E36. Look at this, I almost forgot, I almost walked past it. Look at this, imported from Australia, a full outback expedition spec Land Cruiser with the adventure tent. I mean, so impressive. So impressive. And there's an expedition spec um, Tuareg just there, VW Tuareg, which looks really good. I want to say a big thank you to Kia who have supported these Somerset Tour events. They've brought along a selection of cars. We've got four cars from Kia. All of them are new apart from the old Pride. But I had to bring the Pride next to the EV6. And then we've got the, the Overland spec Kia Soul EV. In there is where me and Plato are doing a, a pub car quiz and the chat. And there's Christmas lunch being served in about half an hour. Another big thank you to Miles, um, the man from Generation Flex, our new playlist, AKA the Mandalorian. And this time me and Chops brought these two along. The charge is interesting in the cold weather and the really slippery back roads of Somerset. This is the first time I've brought it to Somerset, I think. Come on in, come on in. smell it on camera but there is mulled cider here. Those are the chairs, uh, the infamous brown chairs where me and Plato are going to do the pub quiz. Um, we've got some prizes to give away um, and then we're going to be doing a Q&A about Mr JP's life and career, highs and lows. It's all about diversity for me, the Late Break Show always has been old and new, modified standard. Here's a bit of eclectia for you. Ex Sterling Moss Cooper race car. The latest aerial atom, Somerset car, local car for local people. Stunning, thanks for aerial for bringing that. And then we've got everything from a circuit racing lorry to a mini. And that's the way we like to do it. We've packed a lot into this corner actually. You'll notice the EVs are not segregated. We put the EVs next to the piston cars off-road next to the on-road there is no differentiation although we have parked two discoveries next to one another I'm, I'm apologizing for that and we've parked 
a Ford gear next to a Ford gear next to a Ford gear, albeit all different. Look at that. Escort gear next to a Sierra gear next to a Focus gear. Got a twin cam mini over there, a lovely first gen TT. I mean, proper rare groove. Honda Accord Type R, unmodified. Brilliant, love them. See, that's, that's what I like there, look. You got Jag Eye Pace in that gorgeous color, which I've forgotten the name of, that purpley blue. A VX220 turbo Vauxhall, which I still think is a, is a fantastic thing. Remember when they were new. Next two. A Jag XJ that I believe has got a diesel turbo engine because I heard it coming in. It might even be running on veg oil. I love that. Manual too. I spy with my little eye something beginning with an Arcadian. My favourite shape of A6 with a rounded bum. Love it. Quality stickers. The Diane Van, also known as the Arcadian. Arcadian. Thanks just for bringing it. Thanks for bringing it. Just a time for, for a seat. I'm going to decollate. I've got some space. Oh, you're going to put some stickers on? Yeah, I've just bought some of your stickers. I've got to do a softness test because <laughs> it's the thing that people always do with yeah, two CVs. Bit, yeah, but the longer chassis doesn't get quite so much roll. <laughs> it's great. This is, this is my favourite model. There you go. I like yeah. Diane's a bit there more than go. two CVs, and I like the van. My favourite era of Clio. I love this shape of Clio. 182 Renault Sport proper little car these are I do fancy one of these actually next to a roller because we're in a farmyard I have to be careful that people don't reverse into such things because they don't take any prisoners Got to say a massive thank you to Charlie's Classic and Custom uh, from this area. In fact, there are a few villages away, and this is their build. This is a notorious car, basically a field find E-Type that was utterly wrecked, a complete basket case, but resurrected as a drift car. And th this particular new incarnation has a 2JZ Toyota Street 6, so you've got to have a look at this. It's mind-bogglingly good. And you don't often get to see nitrous bottles in the back of an early X, um, XK, I nearly called it an XKE, E-Type. But Charlie's been really helpful. He's brought a couple of customer cars along, freshly restored uh, DB6, next to an R34 Skyline V-Spec in the color, next to a Super GM, um, GMR supercharged Aston, actually, which is again, a real rare groove. Overland Transporter next to a lovely patinated Chrysler Newport, which again was brought by uh, Charlie's Classic and Custom Body Shop. Next to a Model 3. Next to a lovely, I love these W126 S classes. I've never owned one. I've nearly owned several. Great to see. Couple of Golf R's. P38 Range Rover. There's a very clean Saab. 900 we, we need to have a look at this again it's one of these cars that i keep even if it's just for the chunky three spokes it's i do really fancy owning one at some point and it's the two door this is the one i want golf gti next to an m4 i'm so impressed at how clean people have kept their cars considering you know the back lanes here are quite mucky it's really impressive there's a cayman gt4 Come here, I'm going to show you something. Whilst this is mega and it's a good spec, I can tell. Come around the back. We haven't put it next to all of the sort of like farmyard bits and bobs, but that is an absolute rare, but nobody cares. I think it's an American spec Ford Escort. Look at that. And that's what I love about the Late Break Show. These events, you never know what we're going to get. People impress me every time. You have everything from rare but nobody cares to aspirational machinery, like these two, the GT4 and the M4. Opel Manta A, what a car. Such a cool design, you never see them. 
and this is owned by a chap called Jack. Jack actually is a detailer by trade. That's his detail van, um, hybrid shine detailing, but Jack's had this for many, many years, but he's brought it out today. The first time he's driven it in two and a half years, and he's made the trip from down Plymouth Way, and it looks so good, doesn't it? Love it. New wheels too. Gosh. Got ourselves an inadvertent barn find here on site, which I had no idea about. It's, just, it's ultra short wheelbase Group B rally tractor. Couple more EVs. Yep, another Kona, another Model 3. And then a Panda, I'll finish it with the Panda 100 horsepower. Again, one of these really cool little cars that's got a proper cult following. Um, got a lot of time for the Panda 100. Neat. I think this might be a young driver. I say that like an old man. I think this might be a young driver. Okay, round number So it's been lovely to come back to the home county and put on a couple of smaller, more intimate events with a good lunch in between. And uh, again, the cars haven't failed to impress such a wide mix of cars. And I feel properly Christmassy. Sometimes it takes me a while to get Christmassy, but I now officially feel Christmassy. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Late Break Show. Thanks to everyone who's come and supported the show, and maybe bought merch. If you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. And if you're a Patreon, Thank you so much for being a patron of this show. I'll put a link in the description if you want to know more about that. Thank you. Thank you.